Hey y'all, what's good, what's poppin'? So for today's video, we're gonna keep it nice and simple and casual. I'm gonna be doing this quick, glowy, soft glam look using just cream makeup products. And we're also gonna be doing like a little bit of a chit chat, get ready with me. I just wanna kinda talk with y'all, play around with some makeup, throw together a quick look, and just have a good time. I feel like I've been doing a lot of reviews and stuff like that. I do enjoy doing makeup and product reviews. I do enjoy trying new things out. But I feel like that type of content can get a little monotonous. And I do wanna maintain the variety in my content. So we're just gonna have a nice simple casual chit chat get ready with me while I throw together this quick look so if y'all are interested in seeing that video be sure to stick around till the end before we get into it though I just want to say thank you to all my new and returning subscribers out there thank you so much for being here sticking around supporting my content and helping me to grow my channel in the last month or so I've actually got over a hundred new subscribers which might not sound like a lot but for me actually that's the fastest my channel's ever grown so I just really want to say thank you all for being here thank you all so much for subscribing it really means so much if you're new here and you haven't already be sure to go ahead and click that subscribe button and the bell button as well so that you can get a notification every time I upload a new video and with that being said let's get into it so I got y'all set up here in front of the window we just got the natural light coming in hopefully that'll do it for today's video I just couldn't be bothered to whip out my whole lighting setup and set that up and then just you know break it down when I'm done I'm just not feeling that today hopefully the natural light cuts it I do feel like when I try to film a natural light the weather does start getting temperamental and it just messes with the lighting but I think I'm good right now it looks like we'll be good at least for the duration of this video I'm just saying though, it's not always sunny in Philadelphia. So I've already gone ahead and done my off-camera skincare and whatnot. I've done serums, moisturizer, SPF. Now I'm ready to just get into the makeup. I'm gonna go ahead and start off with this Super Goop Mineral Matte Screen. This is just gonna give me a nice poreless, blurred finish that's gonna help all the complexion products sit nice and smooth on top of my skin. And this also has SPF 40. Now this isn't, you know, my main sunscreen. Obviously I already applied another sunscreen underneath this, but every little bit of SPF helps to add a little bit of extra protection. So I'm always looking to incorporate makeup with SPF into my routine, especially for summertime. You know, while we're on the subject of summertime, for all my Northern Hemisphere viewers out there, I want to know, how is your summer going? What have you been doing? Are we having a hot girl summer? Are we still at home? What's going on? What are y'all doing with your summer? Did y'all go anywhere, travel anywhere? I always like to ask people if they've traveled places. Me personally, I'm actually really excited. I'm going to go out to Washington State to see my brother next month. I've actually never been to Washington, so I'm really excited to see what it's all about. I have seen pictures and stuff, and you know, he's always sending me pictures of places he goes. So I have an idea of what it looks like and what to expect, but I've never actually been on the ground myself and experienced it for myself. If any of y'all happen to be from Washington State, specifically like the Seattle area, is there anywhere that you think I should check out? I'm not gonna be out there for too long, but if it's something out there that you think I should take the time to go and see, definitely let me know down in the comments below. When I go new places, I always want to know what the locals recommend checking out, of course. So we've gone ahead and primed. Now I'm going to go in with this Fenty Beauty Ease Drop Blurring Skin Tint. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I've tried quite a few complexion products this year. And don't get me wrong. There's been some that I didn't like so much. But some that, you know, I did actually enjoy quite a bit. But for some reason, I just always seem to be reaching for this one. I don't know. Maybe I'm just biased towards Fenty Beauty. But honestly, this is probably one of my favorite complexion products of all time. I really do love the versatility it gives you. You have the option to go with a more light lightweight coverage or you know you can really build it up and get a nice medium almost full coverage with this I would say and it really does mimic the texture and appearance of skin while also blurring out fine lines and pores and stuff like that and as with all the other Fenty complexion products this is also a powerhouse you know it lasts all day long it's sweat and water resistant I don't know Rihanna just whoever she has on her formulation team is really just putting in the work because her products really just go the extra mile so I kind of just like dot this all over my face it might look like I applied a lot, but it's not really. So I got my sponge here. I'm gonna go ahead and buff that out. And see, look at that. My skin has been significantly evened out. Everything is pretty well covered up. I do still have a little bit peeking through here. I am gonna go ahead and apply just a little bit more foundation to hopefully cover those areas up. But honestly, this is why I reach for this for my everyday foundation these days. I'm just gonna do my brows real quick because I feel like if I do my brows after I bronze and contour and all that, it's just gonna mess up the bronzing and all that. So I got my base done here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start applying, you know, contour, bronzer, blush, all that. So first I'm gonna start off by contouring my face. I know usually I like to keep it nice and simple, but I kinda wanna spice it up a little bit, try something a little different. So I'm gonna layer a contour shade and then a bronzing shade on top of that, as well as some blush and stuff like that. We're gonna be doing all cream products. So I'm gonna be taking this Danessa Merrick's Beauty Contour Balm. This is in the shade Medium 2. 
too. I'm gonna be taking this e.l.f. brush. I don't remember exactly what it's called. I think it's their airbrush contour brush, but don't clock me on that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and dip it into the pan and grab some on the brush like so. And then I'm gonna be really careful about my application here. I'm gonna really look in the mirror and find where the hollow of my cheekbone is. And I'm kind of just gonna like stamp this right underneath the hollow of the cheek. And I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that up a little bit. I'm gonna do the same on the other side. It might look a little crazy right now. This is just the contour. I'm not bronzing right now, so I'm not really trying to like add any warmth or anything like that to the skin. This is really to help chisel out my features right now. So that's what I'm trying to do with this. I'm gonna go ahead and apply some to the temples as well. So I wanna tone down my forehead a little bit and I'll just go ahead, tap some like right up in there as well. This is just contour. This is just to help kind of like add some definition and help chisel my face out a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a beauty sponge and just gently buff this into the skin. I'm gonna be blending upwards and outwards. That way it gives my face a little bit of lift. So I blended the contour in. Now I'm gonna go on with a separate bronzer to warm everything up. So I'm gonna be taking this Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Bronzer. This is in the shade Golden Tan. This has more of like a warm undertone. This is gonna give me like a true bronze, really warm up my complexion. I've gone ahead and bronzed up this side, so hopefully you can see. So the bronzer, as you can see, warmed up my skin. It looks nice and golden and healthy, but then the contour underneath still gives me some definition. I don't know if the camera's gonna really pick it up and do some justice. So I like to layer the bronzer on top to blend it in with the contour. Okay, so I went ahead and bronzed up the whole face and whatnot, and this is the final result. I don't know if the camera's gonna give it justice, but I've really been loving layering this contour balm underneath a more warm cream bronzer. The bronzer and the contour actually have a little bit of a different undertone, so the contour is a little bit more cool tone, which is gonna give you that sculpt and that shadow and definition, whereas the bronzer, the Anastasia Beverly Hills, is a little bit more warm toned, and it's gonna give you, you know, that warmth, that true bronze, that golden glow. So when I layer the two together, the Danessa Mirix underneath, and then and the Anastasia Beverly Hills on top or just any warm cream bronzer on top. It really helps to give me that glow, but also to help give me that sculpt. I'm gonna go ahead and take this Real Techniques shading brush. I know this is technically for eyeshadow, but it's got a really nice fine brush head. And I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of like apply just a tiny bit of nose contour. I don't usually contour my nose, but you know, we're just having fun today. I'm gonna take my beauty blender and just take the clean edge and buff that in real quick. All right, well that wasn't as impactful as I thought it was gonna be, but you know, we're just playing around right now. We're just having some fun. Now I'm gonna go ahead and hit the cheeks with just a little bit of blush. So I'm taking this LYS Beauty Higher Standard Satin Matte Cream Blush, and this is in the shade Confident. This is described as being like a pink cinnamon spice, and that's what that looks like. I actually really love this shade for my skin tone. It's really beautiful. And this blush in particular is also really good for those with oily skin type, because even though it is a cream blush, and I know cream products don't necessarily they have the best reputation for oily skin types. This actually has cowling clay in the formula, which helps to not only set the formula once you apply it, but it also helps to control the oils throughout the day and keep it from looking too greasy or shiny. So I'm gonna just go ahead and apply just a little bit of that to the top of the cheeks, like right above where I applied the bronzer. So like right on the high points of the cheek and I'm just gonna blend it up into the temple. So it's gonna help to further emphasize that lifted and the sculpted look that the contour bomb gave me earlier I don't want to go too heavy with this it is very pigmented but I do want the blush to actually peek through and to help give me that glow and that flush I'm also just gonna take a little bit and just run that right along the bridge of the nose just to help give me that sun-kissed flush look I kind of want to do an eye look real quick nothing too crazy again we're sticking with cream products here so I'm actually gonna take that same Anastasia Beverly Hills cream bronzer I was using earlier and I'm gonna use that as kind of like my base for my eye I'm gonna go ahead and take some of that on this real tech Techniques essential crease brush and I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of like apply that all over the lid and just kind of buff the edges out so I have this like bronzy lid situation going on this is my most recent cream bronzer purchase uh, I really told myself I was gonna chill on the cream bronzers but honestly when I saw the product description on this I was like you know what I'm gonna go ahead and just pick it up I've always kind of had like a little bit of a brand loyalty to Anastasia Beverly Hills they were one of the first makeup brands I ever ventured into some of the first makeup products I was using was the 
Anastasia Beverly Hills brow product. The product description on this one really just screamed out to me and I was like, you know what, I told myself that I was on like a no buy, especially for bronzers and cream bronzers, but you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a try. So this bronzer actually sets, which is really good for a cream bronzer. Not all cream bronzers set necessarily. Some of them kind of remain balmy and creamy. It has that natural matte finish and it sets itself, which is really nice. It blends really well as well. It's also buildable. Now this shade that I got in particular, Golden Tan, so this I believe was for like light to medium skin tones and it does a good job as a bronzer for me. It does warm me up, but it's not the deepest of all the bronzers that I own. So it does give me that nice natural golden glow, but it doesn't take me over the top like some of my other bronzers do. So I went ahead and apply that all over the lids. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and take this Kosas 10 second liquid eyeshadow. This is in the shade Globe, which is a nice champagne-y color. And this actually has a really similar color to the Anastasia cream bronzer. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and take this and just apply it to the lid. But I'm gonna be really careful here not to apply it above the crease. And I'm just gonna let that set for a minute. So this eyeshadow has a nice champagne-y color. It's gonna really add some definition and some life. And it creates this nice contrast with the bronzer because this has a nice shimmery finish, whereas the bronzer has a matte finish. After the closest liquid eyeshadow sets, I'm just gonna go ahead and take a little bit more of that Anastasia bronzer on that Real Techniques crease brush again. I'm just gonna go ahead and clean it up because like I said, I want the shimmer to stay beneath the crease. There we go, it's a nice, quick and easy eye look. You know, got a nice bronzy eye going on. Got some definition from the Kosas Liquid Shadow. I'm gonna take this Fenty Beauty Full Frontal Volume Mascara. This is just a sample. I don't really like to buy full size mascara because mascara tends to go bad pretty quickly and it's just not a makeup product that I use very frequently. I don't usually tend to invest in full size mascaras, but if they have something in the Rewards Bazaar at Sephora when I'm buying stuff, I'll pick one up or whatever. So I happen to have one of these is lying around and I'm just gonna use this for my mascara today. Here is the lashes. They feel kind of heavy right now and they look a little chonky, but that's okay. I do have a lash separator I'm gonna go ahead and go in with in a minute, but I'm just gonna go ahead and let these set real quick. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and do a quick lip. I'm taking this Romand Juicy Lasting Lip Tint and this is in the shade Pomelo Skin. So this is a Korean brand, I believe, and they have a whole line of these juicy lasting tints, these lip tints that come in a variety of colors. They recently released a collection for summer that comes in four nude inspired shades and this shade in particular, Pomelo Skin, is a really good My Lip But Better nude color. So that's what that looks like. Like I said, this is the shade Pomelo Skin. It gives a nice, barely there, My Lip But Better color. It looks nice and glossy and healthy. I've been loving this for summer. It feels nice and comfortable on the lips as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this Real Techniques Lash Separator and I'm just gonna go ahead and comb that through my eyelashes to make them nice and fluffy. Using this scares me so much. I feel like I'm gonna stab myself in the eye while I'm sitting here and trying not to blind myself. Hi, welcome to all of my new subscribers if you're watching right now. Thank you all so much for being here. I think in the past month over a hundred people have subscribed to my channel So I really appreciate y'all for being here and subscribing. Thank y'all so much and welcome And I just want to ask y'all what kind of content do y'all want to see more of let me know down in the comments below I did do a poll a couple weeks ago I do make skincare videos as well as makeup videos and I asked for those who are interested in my skincare videos If y'all would be interested in seeing me do a review of the brand Naturium because they're a skincare brand that I love and I have quite a few products from their lineup I don't have every single product from the brand, but I say I have 80-85% of the products that they offer. I feel like I can give a pretty extensive overview of the brand and their products and a lot of you were interested in that video so I'm definitely going to be making that video. I think I'm going to film it this weekend. I also kind of want to do like a makeup's favorite video and just kind of round everything off because I feel like this year in particular I've been buying a lot of makeup. I feel like last year between the pandemic and lifestyle changes you know my skin was breaking out more because of the mask stress and everything. I just kind of feel like I hit a wall I was having makeup fatigue. I wasn't buying as much makeup. I wasn't wearing it as much I was more focused on skincare, but I feel like this year things are back on track and I've kind of made up for last time So I do kind of want to just do a makeup favorites and kind of do a recap on Everything that I've been enjoying so far this year Like I said, but I want to know down in the comments What videos would y'all like to see from me? What kind of content are you looking for? So I think this is pretty much it for my look today nice quick and simple B I am just gonna go ahead and set everything so that it's not sliding off because I do have 
have combination oily skin. We did do a full face of cream products today. So I'm gonna be taking this JM Solutions Marine Luminous Pearl Sun Spray SPF 50 PA4+. So for this, I just searched on Google for a setting spray with SPF. And to be honest, the product description is all in Korean. I don't really know what's going on here. And the website itself wasn't even too clear. I'm not really sure if this is actually a setting spray or if this is a body SPF that just happens to have a really good texture that works well for the face. But I've been using it as a setting spray for my face and it hasn't caused me any issues. So that's how I'm going to continue to use it. So I'm just going to go ahead and shake this up a little bit and then I'm just going to go ahead and set my face with this. All right, y'all, well, that's really it for today's video. That's my quick, simple makeup look using all cream products. Like I said, no agenda today. I just wanted to have some fun, sit down, try some new makeup products. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to go ahead and give it a thumbs up down below. Let me know down in the comments what you liked about this video, what you disliked. Let me know if you have any suggestions for any video topics that you wanna see. Leave those down in the comments below so I can keep those in mind when I'm sitting down and thinking of things to film. Like I said, if you haven't already, be sure to go ahead and click that subscribe button and the bell button as well so I can get a notification every time I upload a new video. And with that being said, I should be back shortly with new content. Bye.